morning everyone. Such a lovely day today. It's sunny and uh, weather is calm, water is flat and I'm here in Libaong, Maglao, White Beach and doing some spur fishing. Uh, I hope this pelagic on my spot and wish me luck. I'll see you down there. Let's go! Here we go again on this voice over. I'm already here lying on this big boulder doing some grunting trying to attract any pelagic but the vis is very unclear it's almost dead in a meter I couldn't see any fish cruising by so I decided to move to another spot about 30 minutes and the weather's changing now it's windy and there's swells and when I reached my spot it was murky very poor visibility about a meter so maybe I have to move on to another spot see you there on the next spot I hope it's good condition As you can see, it's also murky. Yeah, there's a lot of spinach. <laughs> so I hope I can catch good fish on the ledge. So I'll see you down there. So here we are now on my second spot here in Tangdan Pangalaw Bohol. The vis is crystal clear compared to my first spot and I already noticed a unicorn fish below that ledge. So I gently crawled here and stay on the top of this ledge, knocking on the rocks. but they just stay down there and suddenly there's a trivali in front of me I aim and took a shot and there it was it went down and tangled my line they say your first fish won't come easy <laughs> so I just let go of my gun and retrieve it after a few minutes of rest checking the line first and there's my fish I grab it and tangle the line from the corals and pulling out my shaft And this is my first fish of the day, a golden spatted trivalli. At that time, I was targeting the unicorn fish but there to the deep part of the water so I was just knocking on the reef to make them curious but all of uh, this tree valley just came over and I took the shot and that was my first fish of the day Whew. never expected that after fishing really is unpredictable <laughs> Whew. So let's get another one Hope we can add some more. Let's go. On this drop, 
I went a little deeper and in this video it was so crazy insane watch this four of them swim by and I was my heart was really pumping and I keep calm I keep I, I stay my, I keep myself calm to make them a little bit closer within the range and when it's time to pull the trigger I hit this bad boy here Woo -hoo -hoo. thank you Lord for the blessings okay I hope there's one more Woo dragged all the way my spear gun and I was just managing my line not to get entangled because it was about more than 10 meters of uh, the deep is about 10 meters so I'm keeping the line tight so it won't get tangled and here it was here it was I mean here it is woohoo another good good tuna thank you lord Woo. Another drop on the same spot. I never went anywhere else since this spot is so promising and it's not so deep I can handle. So the plan here is to stay at the bottom, hide on those coral rocks and wait for uh, Pelagic to come by. Made some grunting to attract fish or make them curious. Doing some annoying things down here and scanning. And I notice something cruising by on my left side. Doing this annoying thing again and aligning my gun to the fish that is approaching took the shot and that's my third fish of the day another tree valley Chew. Thank <laughs> you. 
On this clip, I was already lying at the bottom. <laughs> Granting and checking my right side. And there they are. Not yet. On my right. There you go. <laughs> A group of True Valley Golden Spot. And this time, I miss. <laughs> I got approved on my clock. I mean, my watch. Two o'clock already, and I think my catch is enough. I get two tree valleys and one Duke to tuna, and it's selfie time. Selfie, selfie, but my time. Yeah. <laughs>